Yeah, hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson over here and today we are going to learn about the material 3 search bar which was just added to the Flutter 3.10 plus and as well as the dart version of the 3. So let's get started over here and I have just created a sample application that is the counter application over here and you can just go and create the counter application there is nothing much over here if you take the main that the dart over here this is just the counter application over here and once you go to the pub spec that the yaml file there is no dependency added over here and make sure you are on the latest version of the flutter as well so let's go to our uh, let's remove the counter from here we are not going to use this counter anymore and let's go down and I'll just remove the floating action button from here as well. And uh, let's remove this particular text as well over here. And let's go on to the top and let's create some of the required field that we require over here. First is I'll require a list. So we will be uh, generating a list that we will display on the list view. So for that, let's see uh, where all the uh, items that we have over here. That will be of the list that the uh, I will just generate a list of the let's say uh, around 50 and uh, here we'll just return a simple text over here that will be of the uh, item and I'll just say uh, index over here so this will generate for us the list of the uh, all items with the 50 items over here and the next uh, let's create the another list over here that will be of the var item and this will be of the empty list we will be using it later to add an our search filter over here and also we will require a uh, one more list over here that will be of the var and it will be search h-i-s-t-o-r search history which is will be of the empty over here so once we have all of this let's go on also create the uh, final and that will be of the uh, text we require a text text editing controller over here and let's say this is of the search uh, search s e r c h search c o n t search controller or controller and that will be of the uh, text editing uh, text editing controller itself so once we have all uh, this one uh, let's go down over here and uh, now uh, let's go and generate or uh, let's go to the this particular body over here and in the column uh, let's go and remove this text as well and uh, here we will create the search bar over here so first of all we'll be using a search bar over here and within this search bar, we can provide some of the uh, parameters over here. You can see that it takes the lot of the, uh, let's pass in the controller first of all. So let's pass in the controller. That will be of the search controller that we have over here. And we can also pass in the uh, hint text over here. That will be of the, let's say, uh, S-E-A-R-C-H search and something else. So I guess it is taking the uh, material, uh, not the hint style, we require the hint text over here. So let's go and uh, try to reload and let's take a look how it look like. And now you can see we got this particular search bar over here. And I guess we will just remove the center element from here. And let's try to hot reload over here. And you can see that now it is over here. So let's add the uh, some padding over here, I guess, or let's add the uh, let's add the a uh, size box over here, and I'll just give the height of the size box as the sixteen. The old and uh, that should be fine. And let's make this one as the uh, const over here, and let's try to reload it over here. And now let's take a look. So now we got the search bar over here. So this is the material search bar and that looks fine. So you can also add some padding over here, I guess. So let's add the uh, padding to this particular column. So let's go and add the padding and I'll just keep the only over here that will be of the left and right over here. So uh, left will be of the, let's say uh, it 
and uh, the O and also we will give the right over here that will be of the added O over here and let's try to reload it again and let's take a look over here so now we got a little bit of the padding on the left and the right over here so now we have the search bar which is of the material 3 search bar and let's see how we can add the functionality of the search so first of all we we'll just go and add the uh, leading as well as the trailing icon over here so in the search bar let's go and see we have the uh, leading over here and it takes the uh, widget over here so we can add the icon over here so let's say i'll add the uh, icon button over here in case if you want to make it clickable and uh, currently let's go and add the function over here and currently we don't have any functionality just leave it as it is and in the icon let's add the icon of uh, let's go and make this one icon start the search over here and we can make this one as the const over here and let's arrange it properly so now we have this and let's add the another one so just copy this one and let's paste it below this one will be of the uh, trailing icon and uh, this will be of the uh, trailing and then we have the trailing okay so it is the list so let's go and make this one as the list over here so which means now uh, in the trailing you can add the multiple uh you can add the multiple uh, icon or you can add the buttons so that's the you can add the multiple widget over here so once we have this this will be of let's say a, a mic over here and let's try to hot reload over here so now you can see we have a beautiful looking search bar already and we just need to add the functionality of the search over here so let's create one function over here let's go on to the top over here and let's create the uh, void and this will be of the let's say a search and we'll take the uh, string of the let's say a QUER query over here and once we have this uh, let's go and take a look over here so what we will do is we will check for the condition if the query that we are passing each of the empty which means that the query string is of the empty we'll just go and uh, set the state over here and that will be of the uh, items that we have uh, defined over here so if we go over here this should be of the items not the item so let's go and see we will set the items over here to the all items that we have which means that uh, we don't have any of the query parameters so the items will be setting as the all of the items that we have in our list over here otherwise we will just go and uh, create the search over here so we'll use the set uh, state over here we need to update the state and for that we have the items and we are going to find from the all items that we have and we'll use the where condition over here so let's make this one as the element as the e over here and we'll search from the e dot the to a uh, lower case we want to make it convert it to the lower case dot the contain so if that list uh, contains that we have the query that we are passing in so query dot the uh, to lower case and let's convert it to the uh let us convert this one to the to the list over here and i guess that should be fine so now we have the new list over here and uh, once we have this particular function uh, let's go and have the uh, let's go over here and let's create the another function of the void and that will be of the uh query listener i guess we'll just say a qeer query list and yeah query listener over here and this will be of the listener so we are just going to search from here and that will be of the uh, we have the search controller dot the text we we'll just pass in the search controller that text and let's add the init block over here so in the init state what we are going to do is we will initialize the listener for our text editing controller 
so for that we'll just go and say the uh, search controller dot the add the listener and let's remove this one from here and the listener will be of the query listener that we have over here and once we are done we are good with that and let's go and also add in the function of the uh, on the dispose over here because we need to remove that particular uh, listener over here so that will be of the uh, search uh, controller dot the remove the listener as well and we are just going to pass in this one over here we need to remove the listener first and then we are going to dispose that particular controller so let's go and dispose it so we are good with the setup over here and let's go down over here let's go down and let's let's go to the body over here and in the column uh, we are going to add the list over here so we need to generate the list of the items that we currently have so that uh, is the 50 items that we have generated over here so let's go down over here and let's create the uh, list view for that one and uh, let's say a uh, list view builder we will be using a list view builder over here and with this builder we need to provide the uh, let's arrange it properly over here and we need to provide the context over here and then the index over here right in the x index and once we have that we are good to go so let's arrange this one properly over here and i guess that should be fine and now uh, let's add in the uh, item count over here that will be of the all items dot uh, not the all items we need to require the uh, we need to get it from the items so items dot the length or we'll check for the condition uh, items dot the items dot the uh, let's say items dot the uh, each if we say if it is of empty and if it is of empty then we are going to use the all items dot the length so let's go and use the all items that the length else we are going to use the uh, items dot the length over here so which means that we if there is the uh, if there is an item that such items that we have we are going to use that particular length otherwise we are going to use the default all items we want to show the all of the items over here and let's go down and let's see uh, we'll have the item over here final item that will be of the uh, let's say the item start each of the empty over here then we are going to use the uh, all items and we'll get the index from that particular or uh, all items otherwise we are going to use the uh, the search items that we have dot uh, we are going to use that particular items so i hope you got the concept over here if the uh, items the search items is of the empty then we are going to use the all of the items so we are going to just show the all of the items over here and from this list we are just going to return a small let's say a return from here we are going to return a card so let's just return a simple card over here that will be of the children uh, let's have the child and with this child let's have the uh, column over here c-o-l-u-m-n column and with this column let's add the children over here and the children will be let's add in the uh, text and that will be let's say we'll just provide the name over here and that will be of the uh, item so this is just not the uh, items we are just going to use the item over here and maybe you can also add the one more over here and that will be of the um, let's say just the item and we don't want to use the any of the string interpolation over here and let's add the uh, we just want to make a card a little bit bigger over here so that's why uh, let's just add the const over the uh, size box over here and we'll just provide some uh, height over here that will be of the 8.0 and we are good with that so let's just go and wrap this one since this is inside of the column uh, I guess we need to wrap this one so let's wrap this one with the uh, widget over here and the widget will be of the expanded over here 
and let's try to uh, reload our application and let's try to look so now we have the list over here so uh, you can see we have the 50 items in this particular list so let's go and try to search it from here and we are just going to search uh, let's search the item item and that will be of the let's say item of the uh, 20 over here so now you can say that we are easily able to use this particular search option over here and we are able to create this search. so let's go and search for the 30 so now you can see that we got the item 30 over here so it's pretty cool right so and, and then you can also add the functionality of this one as well as for the, this one but currently we are just focusing on how to make use of the search material tree search bar over here so this is quite simple over here and uh, if you want you can just go and search something like the six and you can see we get a six 16 26 that's cool right so i guess that's all for this lesson and uh, we learn how to use the material tree search bar to search in our list view over here so i guess that's all and let's meet up in the our next lecture we will learn the another feature in the material tree search bar that will be of the search anchor so let's meet up in the next lecture till then have a great day